Hi, I'm Katie Morgan and I'm here at ARM TechCon 2011 and I'm here with Dave Gilday and Mike Dobson who built the Cube Swarmer 2. So Dave, can you tell me um, how this is different than the other speed cubers you've previously built? Hi Katie, yes. Uh, the key difference for me was um, changing technology from a, a single processor in the smartphone to what we've got here in the Galaxy S2 which is a, a dual Cortex-A9 processor running at 1.2 gigahertz uh, and using the extra processing power I'm able to find a much faster solution not just a fewer number of moves but one which is specifically optimized for the mechanics of the robot itself so for me it was uh, I guess being able to implement you know a better software algorithm because of the, the processing power on the smartphone and how did the two of you start this project together well originally Mike correct me if I'm wrong um, we've both been working on robots independently to solve the Ruby Cube. Uh, I've been doing it for about three years and I think Mike for about five. Um, I actually saw Mike's channel on YouTube where he had an early prototype which had uh, three grips to, to manipulate the Ruby Cube. Uh, this was before I'd done the Android Speed Cuber uh, and I was inspired to, to try and build one that was faster at the time and I used his idea and extended it to, to have four grips. Um, but we got talking on YouTube or via, via YouTube and um, I was asking what sort of software Mike was using and so on. Um, but it was quite clear that um, he, w he, was, he was holding something back, he wasn't telling me something and I didn't want to tell him about the fact that I was doing a four-handed robot. Uh, and eventually um, we just sort of decided, you know, we, we'd tell each other. So I, I said to Mike, you know, I'll, I've got something to confess. And he said, well, um, actually before you do, I've got something to tell you. I'm working on a four-handed solver. Uh, and I said, that's, that's a coincidence, so am I. Uh, and I think at that point we decided that, um, you know, we could be good friends even though we were competing with each other. So, so Mike built CubeStormer 1, the original one, at about the same time that I was working on Android SpeedCuber. So it was really because we were both doing the same things and we got to know each other through, through the internet. Mike, what's the biggest improvement you've seen from this partnership? Um, well, to begin with, thanks and uh, hi, Katie. Um, uh, I think uh, just the sheer speed that we've been able to achieve together, and it's, it's been such a joint project that it's difficult to say who's leading it and who's following because um, input time and, and everything, it's all been our, in our spare time. Um, and it's, we've only, I think we've both enjoyed it re really well. Oh, very much, yes. Um, so in, in terms of how, how rewarding it is, um, that's... Uh, it's unmeasurable, really. <laughs> it's been great. And what's been the most rewarding part of working together? I think for me, um, actually, the, the thing for me is working with Mike. I mean, it's as Mike said, it's been absolutely great fun working on this. And I'm very proud to be able to, to be here with Mike today. Um, I was here last year on my own, and it's, it's much more enjoyable being here with uh, a partner that's worked on such a, an amazing creation with me. So yes, thanks, Mike, for coming along. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Good, well let's take a look at the SpeedCuber 2 in action. Okay, Mike, do you want to give a quick demo? Sure. So you can put the cube in any configuration. Hey.